is a, a player uh, to speak to everyone here today uh, at the convention. Uh, so many great speakers um, uh, before me, and uh, uh, there will be others to hear from. And my topic uh, is um, uh, what is the need for what we do? Um, I remember coming to um, Canada in, back in 81. Uh, I had some money with me, um, which uh, I thought I was smart to take care of it, uh, put it in a, a draft form, leaving England, and um, I lost the draft. So it took me uh, about a year and a couple of thousand dollars in empty bond to um, uh, get the uh, draft reissued. Uh, went to the uh, bank, CIBC Bank, and uh, obviously uh, the service that I received, it was um, it, it was okay. Uh, I didn't get any education. Uh, I got a T5 at the end of uh, the year, which I had to pay tax on. And it wasn't until 1982 I met a financial advisor who I listened, uh, took a great advice to how I could save uh, money on taxes and how could I invest money better. And uh, I thought to myself, um, if uh, this is how... Um, uh, the, the, you know, the money works, the rule to the money games are how many other people are like me that know how to make money, but they don't understand money. So let me give you, this is, take you back 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I haven't run out of money. And a lot of people, a lot of people talk about, um, uh, you know, saturation. Mm -hmm. uh, we just... Uh, got a little stats from uh, we shared here uh, from Diljeet Rathan from one of her BC uh, associates, uh, ED executive directors, uh, and it's talked about inflation uh, is a tax on everyone, but it especially uh, hurts the uh, uh, 125 million Americans who don't have any, uh, who don't own any uh, uh, investments assets well this is, is that's a huge huge uh, big number so financial freedom so <clears throat> financial freedom is different things to different people we heard from uh, um different individuals earlier um other speaker spoke about this um uh, delroy was talking about the financial freedom it's different things to different people and um uh, we need to figure out you know, what is the different uh, financial freedom to um, uh, other families? Uh, so, so when we talk about a, a reason why uh, we have 125 million reasons, Americans who need to um, have a financial freedom. Uh, in Canada, we have um, 3.2 million Canadians uh, this is based on the stats, uh, 2018 income tax returns filed, uh, reporting income living poverty line. So here's these are the reasons why uh, Xperia were formed to help uh, Canadians and, well, North Americans uh, help families uh, to become financial free. Um, here's another stats. Uh, this is a stats when I looked at, when I was looking at the industry back in 82, was how many people were uh, retiring and not retiring financially independent. Back then, the number of families were dependent was 51% back in 84 when I got into the industry. Obviously, things got worse in that case. And we're still working, used to 6%. And this, this number is 2001, and obviously is 36%. Things have got, gone uh, worse, not better. The, the only thing has improved is number of people deceased. We are living longer. If we are living longer, we need more money. And uh, how many people financially okay? 4%. It was back then, it was 4%. Is, uh, uh, 37 years ago, the number was same. And that number is same today. In 2001, when the, the survey was done, it was um, uh, 
you could get five, six percent rate of return on your investment. Today, you're lucky if you could go get one and one and a half percent. So income dropped from 50, 60,000 to 10, 15,000 dollars. So that part, those were uh, individuals at four percent, they are struggling now with the low interest rate. And one is financially okay, financially wealthy. So our program here um, at Xperia, uh, we go to see, well, what does it take to become financially independent, to become wealthy so one doesn't have to worry about? Even though these numbers are old number, there's a recent stats of 2018, and he echoes the same number, 36 plus 54 is 90%. CIBC did that study. It said 90% of the Canadians have no financial plan. And these numbers are very similar in the United States as well when you look at a number of families failing financially. The numbers are bigger on their side because the population is bigger. So what do we do? What, what is the solution? Um, here's a, what we need to do. We need to calculate financial freedom number. The FIN number. What is their FIN number? I remember sitting down with um, Andrea Rogers back in 2001. And um, when we did the financial independent number for her back then, uh, obviously, she wasn't going to make it. And uh, uh, what is the other option? So she was my first recruit at the other company. And obviously, she came over, built a great legacy, and you've seen her presentation. Um, just wonderful family, what she's done. But we need to help more and more families achieve their financial goals. Paying off debt, raising kids, living expenses, um, living expenses for retirement. When we add it all up, I mean, I'm living in Brampton. Uh, Ontario. And if we look at uh, uh, Vancouver, the real estate prices, the asset prices for somebody who's just getting started or somebody who is at age 40 to 65 to be debt free, to be financially free, they need to have $3.95 million uh, income uh, uh, over this uh, 25 year time frame to earn. And what is going to take to achieve this is to literally quarter of a million dollars income. Well, how many businesses, how many uh, uh, careers uh, generate that kind of income? Uh, my niece qualified from uh, uh, Uni University of Edmonton as a doctor, and she got a position at um, Peter Lougheed Hospital in Calgary, making $250,000. Well, that, that took her uh, 10 years to become a doctor. How many of uh, you are people that we go and talk to uh, have 10 years to go back to university to uh, make a $250,000 income to be financially free? So this is the huge task. So when this question was asked to me uh, back about 20 years ago, when I looked at this industry, I, I didn't have the credential to go back to a uh, university and I thought I'll take the entrepreneur program. So I took the entrepreneur program uh, and started the business. Um, it was glad about three and a half years ago uh, when I wanted to get back into the um, uh, uh, financial business again after uh, taking retirement from the previous uh, company, uh, we found Xperia. So why Xperia? Uh, if you've heard it from many, many of the other uh, speakers from me, all the benefits and the, the legacy that uh, uh, you are able to build, uh, it leaves no other reason to, uh, to, to not to look at this and really seriously commit to making it happen. This is really an industry, uh, again, professionalism, uh, a business truly where you can leave a legacy and one needs to build it and it comes with a reason. 
So financial free families, you know, what uh, um, uh, the mission statement of Xperia is uh, empowering families. How are we going to empower them through education, giving them the tool to build a business so they can be financially free? Uh, so that's my um, uh, thank you very much uh, for the time allocated me. So maybe I've gone a little over because of the presentation. Uh, again, thanks, Jamie. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, if you like this video or any of the other videos that I have on my channel, stay tuned. We have so many more coming, but I want to make sure that you're in the know, that you know when they're coming. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the notification bell.